cupping was a big thing at the Rio Olympics, and now blood restriction is big in Tokyo. Every four years, the Summer Games brings attention to new and often unconventional methods of training and recovery. This year, some elite athletes are sporting tourniquets, cutting off blood flow to certain muscles. You're looking at swimmer Michael Andrew there. Well, it sounds intense, but they use the practice at the Memorial Hermann Ironman Clinic. So Jackie Klyhege joins me live now to talk about this practice of blood flow constriction. Good morning. Good morning, Sally. How are you? Good, thank you. How, how does this help in training? How does it help speed up recovery? So blood flow restriction is a type of training where we utilize a tourniquet while performing certain exercises with athletes. And the tourniquet is calibrated to the individual's personal occlusion pressure. And then we work at a reduced rate of that full occlusion. So in essence, there's a limited supply of blood that's flowing into the muscle. And what we know is this is the same proposed mechanism that occurs when a person does heavy lifting or heavy strength training. So why would it be beneficial? I mean, we know like, for example, swimmers, they can swim, you know, eight to 10,000 yards a day. So would this sort of trick the body and essentially you could swim maybe like a 2,000 yards, but get the same benefits of swimming longer? Is that kind of what it does? Sort of, you're, you're, you're pretty close. So basically when you do heavy lifting or you do heavy strength training or any kind of heavy um, exercise, you basically come up with like a muscle protein that ignites this hormonal cascade to then build more muscle or build more endurance, right? And so with blood flow restriction, what we know is that you don't get that muscle protein breakdown, but you still get this hormonal cascade that then allows you to be able to work at a higher rate with less load to the body. So it then be able to allow them to perform at a higher rate or perform with with um, stronger muscles basically hmm. so are there any negatives because it looks like it, it would hurt and if you've seen this Michael <clears throat> Andrew guy before I mean he, he basically like tightens it when he gets out of the water I think to help him with recovery right right so it can be used as a form of training can also be used as a form of recovery with any medical device that's undergo it's undergone rigorous safety and effectiveness training um, and and tests and measures so that we know that we're safe but you definitely want to be using it with a certified medical professional such as a physical therapist or an athletic trainer who's undergone the training um, for BFR you don't just want to be haphazardly um, doing this these kinds of things on your own you definitely want to have some guidance when you're going through those okay so is there any like would, would this work for like an average Joe or is this something that is just recommended for athletes? So the athletes really crave it because it gives them that burn that they're looking for. It gives them that feeling that they're working at a really, really high level. But we do have, you know, the regular patient or the regular athlete that, that likes to use it. So especially with our healthy community and our healthy population, we've got high school athletes, collegiate athletes, and a lot of the pro athletes are using this as well. And so it's something that you probably want to meet and discuss with your medical professional or your physical therapist, athletic trainer to discuss if you're a good candidate for it. All right, Jackie Klyhege from the Memorial Heart an Iron Man clinic. Very interesting. It's always like you see the Olympics and you're like, why are they doing that? So it's interesting to ha hear what, what you have to say about it. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.